Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you my another program. What it does is it will reformat and convert the database I kept I downloaded from the website database and then it will convert into different data feed format. And after it's done it's ready for upload. You don't have to do anything, everything is fully automatic. And the the program will convert into nine different data feed format which include for the website like Google Base, Bing, Facebook, New Egg, iOver, Duba, eCreator, Go Shopping, and my personal website which is using the open source Magento shopping cart. And let's do the demo. Let me make sure. I'm going to turn on the screen update so you know the program is actually running. And this page is the database I downloaded from the website. This is the skill number, products title, little bit description. This is the products long description, shipping info, condition, quantity, price, something like that. And let's format this data into different formats before I can use that to convert to different data feed and after I click the button this is the pop-up showing are you sure you want to create a desktop and I'll click yes and then it'll start running notice on here I add some comment and it's so quick and it's done. It's into different formats right now with the title, manufacturing brand, all kinds of things. Once I got to this step, I can start converting and generate the data feed. Let's say I want to convert into Google feed. Click this button. Have you checked the data? Everything looks fine. Okay, and let's check. I have about 1560 products. Let's convert. It'll start doing all kinds of moving data and reformat into the destinated formats. This is the step is doing doing process of five creating image lane it happens so quick you probably can see it but that's the point using a computer make everything fast and you can see item ID title description it will tick off all the HTML if there's any create a lane it will mark up the price brand new image lane it doesn't have ISBN, it has manufacturer number it has the weight products type it's similar to the category how much I have in stock free shipping the tax rate is 9.25 you probably can change it to anything else. Okay, let's create a bang data feed. Are you sh are you ready to generate? Yes. Click. Later, I'm going to, sh to show you that I'm going to turn off the screen update. The speed will increase like triple, quadruple times. It will be much faster done let's look at the data same thing skill and everything I forgot the um, header of these but you can tell the data is pretty much the same but format and some keyword that website uses different and let's go to Facebook and create a Facebook data feed click 
blah 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 yes it's done new eight hey, this one will probably take longer what it does is copy and paste some data to the new columns and if that's filled that is it needs conversion or manipulation it will do s I'll paste the formula to the cell and do some um, text editing it will also match the category like for instance if your website it, you name it for toys then for new age maybe they can say like other things what it does it will look up the um, category from my other sheet like in one of these like setting sheet and then it will match it and put the correct category for you and it's done like skill activation mark everything's is done for you and this data feed has many more columns which means it has more stuff to process I offer yes and it's done this one only have like A to R columns it's not that many it's quick notice this is one of the custom function I have created like since I offer like require like shipping rates for different countries so it has like US I think this one is like British Australia Ca Canada France and they have all different shipping rates and the program will automatically automatically calculate and do it for you picture some website it only allows you to put one picture this one allow you to put three so put three if I only have one picture it'll leave it blank and let's go to Duba okay yes you can read the message here so you can't kind of know where are you when is how long is it going to take for it to process and it's pretty quick huh based on the fees of different websites you may want to like adjust the formula so the price for every website may be different you may want to make more make less to cover your cost and the program will do everything for you let's go to e creators same thing yes calculating shipping Limiting work count means like for some fill it only allows you to have 10,000 characters in one fill so what it does is just limit it, limiting it shipping 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 I probably should write another formula to limit it to the two decimal there's something I have to work on And next one, go shopping. Yes. Let me show you the time. It's quick. What you do is like click this, select everything, copy and export it as a CSV file, and then you can just upload it. It's so quick. The next one is my 
magento shopping carts that I see this one would take longer because because of the complexity of the formats they require because some products it has some colors option within magento you can have them to create a drop box for you but in a database you create different lines you insert different rows to do that and this is why it's doing it it's creating configurable records for those who has worked on the magento data feed before they should know how difficult it is to do it by hand it'll probably take weeks to all these with with this VBA program you can do everything within like five minutes notice the number of each uh, sh uh, data feed is different it's because some products I don't want to sell on particular website I would just like delete them so that's why there's some products with 1500 some has more and it's done so basically this is my program it does everything for you and it's pretty quick and you can just um, turn this video off I'm going to or you can stay and I'm going to show you when it's without the screen updating you can see how fast it will go but first I'm going to delete all the data first so you know I'm not cheating or anything just control A delete go back to the first cell control A delete control A go to the first cell or I can use this button to just select all the cells with data in it delete same thing it's just it's pretty handy when you want to save a little bit time and that's why I created that program delete delete go to the home it's done everything's clean And I'm going to turn off the screen update, put it into zero, simple. Generate a Google feed. I'm going to show you the time as well. So you can see the time. It's done. It's like three seconds. It's done pretty pretty quick it's done I don't even have time to go to the clock <laughs> awesome and here you go this one's more complex that slide within 10 seconds you, you're done I over probably is because I have deleted the button as well. But so I, for the later one, I create some timer so I I know next time when I come back to generate the feed, I can just walk away for like maybe ten minutes and then come back. But this one will only take. <laughs> less than a second to do it so I just wait for it some process it require minutes like 10 30 minutes and I'll just use the time that I used I I know how long I mean like when you show me the time and let me see okay let's just do it like this oops I think I deleted the icon anyways go to the next one it's 
it's so quick I don't even have time to show you the time this one that's why in the later feed I create a button on the other sheet instead of on the same sheet because when I delete them the button will disappear it's still there but you cannot see it that's why I create for this one I just create on the button on the other sheet um, here this one I can show you the time the good thing about this program is like for Google base you can update your feed every day if you have constant if you're constantly updating or adding new products to your website you can just export it and copy and paste to this program and then you can just click a button and within seconds you can get the data feed ready for upload it's pretty boring once you turn off the screen updates because it doesn't doesn't move at all so but it's much quicker you can see the difference and everything's done within five minutes max so thank you for watching enjoy and if you have any question leave me a message then i will try to reply it and take care